What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Android operation system on a laptop or a desktop. If you have in your house desktop or laptop just sitting in your closet and just collecting dust, you can turn your laptop or desktop into Android PC. So here's what you will need. You'll need, of course, laptop or desktop, and then you'll need a flash drive. Now let's get on our PC computer and I'll show you what we need to download and how to create bootable flash drive. On your computer, open your internet browser, and then we'll have to go to this fosshub.com website and then to Rufus. We need to download two files. First one, we need to download Android itself. For this video tutorial, I'm just gonna be using 32-bit operation system. So just click on 32, or if you choose to use 64, you can. You're just gonna have to try which one is gonna work on your laptop or desktop. Right here, just click save file and then press OK. Then we're going to have to go to rufus.ie and I will put all links in the description below. We need to scroll down and then we need to download Rufus. I'm just going to download portable version and then click on save. And now we just have to wait until it's going to download Android OS. Once download is complete, we need to double click on Rufus. We can minimize this window now. And right here, just click no. Now plug in your flash drive into your computer. Keep in mind, once we do that, once we're going to start the process, it's going to delete everything off of your flash drive. So if you have any data on it, make sure you copy or save it somewhere else because all your data will be deleted. So choose your flash drive here. And then right here, we need to click on select, navigate to your downloads. And in downloads, we just need to choose Android X86 and then press on open. Leave everything as default and then click on start right here at this window. Just click on yes. And then in here, leave everything as default as well, because we're going to write in ISO and then press OK. And this is the message that's stating all your data will be destroyed. Just press OK. And now we just have to wait until it's going to create bootable flash drive. Once the process is done, you can click on close and now we can eject the flash drive. And now remove your flash drive. Now plug in your flash drive into your computer. And now we need to power on our computer and we need to boot into the boot menu. On my computer is F12, on your computer could be something else. Once you boot into the boot menu, you have to choose your flash drive and then press enter. Your menu might look a little different, depends on the computer you're using. And in here, there's a couple of things you can do. You can try OS without installing to your operation system. And then once you're gonna reboot, nothing is gonna be stored on your computer. Or what you can do, you can just install Android to hard disk or you can click on advanced option and an advanced option, what we need to do, we need to choose auto installation, auto install to specific hard disk and then press enter. And in here, we need to choose which drive we would like to choose. So the bottom one, this is my removable, this is my USB drive and the top one, this is my SSD. I'm just gonna choose the top one and then press enter. And this is basically stating that you choose auto install, that anything on your hard drive will be erased. Make sure if you have any data, you back it up somewhere and then just move to yes and press enter. And now we just have to wait until it's going to install Android OS on your computer. Once the installation is complete, we can choose run Android or reboot. I usually like to reboot. So just go down and before you're going to reboot the system, remove your flash drive and then press OK. Once your system is rebooted, it will take you to this menu right here. Just leave everything as default and it's going to boot into the Android automatically. Once it's booted into the Android, it's basically going to look like, like you're starting up brand new Android phone and then just go through the process. Click on start, connect to your Wi-Fi, or you can skip this for now. Right here, set up your time zone, date, and then click next. You can leave everything as default here and then click on accept. And then right here, you can just set not now. Click skip anyways. 
and now either connect to Wi-Fi or connect your computer through the hard wire. Click on quick setup, click just once. That's it. Once your system is set up, what we need to do, we need to drag from bottom to top. Then we need to open settings. And then in here, we need to scroll down. We need to click on Android x86 options. And in here, we need to enable native bridge. And that's it. Now we can go back to home page. And in here, you can double click on Play Store. Now we need to sign into our Google account. Then click Next. Then your password. And then click Next. And then I agree. Scroll down here and then click Accept. And that's it. Now you can download your favorite games and start playing on your laptop or desktop. And I would start just downloading all your favorite games and see if all of them compatible with your device. If this video was helpful to you, press that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.